Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Cheryl. So it's been a year and a year and a half or maybe more since the last time I've been uploading and uh, yeah, I need to apologize for whatever I said that never been accomplished or never been done. I mean, I promised a lot of things like making like new videos and stuff, but never done it. So I've been enrolled in a university and I find myself in a position where I'm not very comfortable with recording myself, I guess. And given the very uh, unlively how my place looks like, I guess, I don't know. Uh, and it's just that I feel like I'm not ready since I'm lack of very decent equipments, I guess. So other than that, I think I also find myself very discouraged in a sense where I think I'm not very capable of stuff, but I don't know. It's it's the internet, so I guess I'll just do what I do. I mean, one of the reasons that uh, for me having a very weak English conversation capabilities, I guess, given that I know a very narrow range of vocabularies, and yeah, since I don't use English that much, I guess it's just maybe eighty percent of the time and I wouldn't be speaking in my native language for so many reasons and I think there's not so many people in my country who are very interested in this particular field that I've chosen so why today of all days I mean why now is that I find myself in a very short of money and I need to work on my finance before I graduate my course i think i'm done speaking about myself uh i think let's just get to the video so okay so as the video title says we're gonna create a midi controller keyboard and these are all the components that you're gonna need the most important of all you're gonna need a microcontroller to be more specific you're gonna need an arduino uno because the firmware that we got is created uh specifically for this brand which is 18 mil. In this video, we're only gonna create a 12 key uh, MIDI controller. So that's actually very few compared to most commercial MIDI controllers. This is simply to give you guys the idea of how MIDI controller works. So I'm not actually planning on playing any music or any of that sort. I'm not very good at music anyways. And let's say if you really wanna create a commercial like MIDI controller you're gonna need something a lot bigger something like Arduino Mega these are actually the only two microcontrollers that you can use because of the driver IC being the same brand and Arduino Mega got up to 70 pinouts that you can use as a key for the MIDI if you wanted to use it but yeah like I said uh, I'm only going to create 12 keys so we're going to use an Arduino Uno. So then that you're going to need a bunch of resistor. To be more specific you're going to need a 1 mega ohm resistor for each key that you're going to create. So in this case I'm going to need 12 of them. So the next component is that you're going to need a conductive plate or any surface or something like that. Basically something that you can touch. I recommend using aluminium tape as it is very easy to just uh, cut or shape to your preference so let's say you're gonna make a keyboard layout out of it you can just uh, cut it into shape so yeah it's actually a perfect material the only thing though is that you cannot uh, solder it because there's a coating and it's very thin and for that reason I'm not gonna use aluminium tape actually uh, I'm gonna use a copper clad board I'm gonna etch the board into a circuit board. I doubt everyone has the material for the etching of this copper board so I guess you should stick with aluminium but if you guys wish I can make a video on how to print a circuit board so that's actually just it uh, for the essential part of this video so okay 
so in your computer you're gonna need to install all these uh, softwares and this is the firmware uh, there's a link down below for the firmware meanwhile for this software you can just find it in the in the internet it's pretty well obvious uh, so let's so let me explain about the software and what purpose it serves in this particular project so Arduino uh, basically the IDE where we're gonna program our programs in and there's flip or email flip we call it is where we're gonna upload firmwares into the driver IC of our microcontroller and media x is something like a serial monitor but it monitors the MIDI informations that coming out from your microcontroller instead and this is a DAW software or we call it digital audio workstation there's a lot of other workstation out there for MIDI but this is free so I recommend using this uh, with form 11 so yeah as you can see I've been using the software for quite a while after you finish downloading all the softwares you're gonna go ahead and download the code that I created it will be in the description below after you open it up in the first lines you're gonna notice something saying include uh, which is library that you supposed to download before you upload the code to your Arduino else it would be an error because all the functions will not be included so you're gonna go ahead and open uh, library manager from the tools you're gonna search for MIDI space uh, <laughs> library since everything is sorted in sequence you're gonna have to scroll down till you find the letter M it will be around there so here it is I already, down already downloaded it so I don't have to download it again and for capacitive sensor you're just gonna search for this particular line it will be in the top search so I don't want to go ahead and do that again it's gonna take a long time to load so in my program I highlighted a few lines with this particular arrow which you can actually adjust to your preferences let's say you want to add only few uh, sensors you can reduce it if you want to add it you're gonna add more uh, what all these lines is you can see that most of it uh, just repeating uh, these numbers are actually transmitter and receiver you can use the same transmitter for many other sensors in here I use uh, the same transmitter for six different sensors and I repeated that again with different transmitter you can do you can repeat what I'm doing again for different for more sensors I mean uh, but you have to use different uh, transmitter uh, ahead from here if you want to add uh, let's say if I were to reduce I put 3 and uh, 3 over there too as what is indicated here under my comment you have to change the numbers for all the uh, for the all for all the lines that I've highlighted with the arrow so that's that so if you were to reduce it, uh, that means you have to uh, erase all this, excluding the first three pins. So let's go ahead and uh, what? connect your Arduino, upload it. So after uploading it, you're gonna need, uh, you're gonna need to uh, wire up the 
uh, the resistors based on what I'm showing here in my screen right now. So after doing that, you're going to close it. You're going to open uh, ATML flip. I already opened it right here. So first of all, you're going to select a target device, click the icon over there, and then you're going to click the icon next to it. Go to USB. And when you press open, it's going to say something like uh, could not open USB device. Uh, so right now, you're going to go to your Arduino and see this image right over here. You're going to short that two wires. Uh, those wires are ICSP for driver IC. It's the reset and ground. So now you're going to open it. And now the terminal is open. You have to go and load the hex file in the folder Hi, do we know master that you downloaded? I mean, the one that you're supposed to download and load up Arduino MIDI. So now you can go ahead and run. Okay, here all the lights are green, which means everything is fine. Uh, but actually, if if you found that uh, if in your terminal uh, if it shows a red LED or I mean red light that means something is wrong you have to go ahead and redo every process again or maybe something wrong with your connection you have to reconnect it you, you have to reconnect your Arduino again or maybe you have to reload the software again so after you finish with that uh, open up waveform oh mine is already open actually let's click with no input okay right now uh, you just when you open, when you have opened the software, you're gonna go ahead and create a project. Nothing really, uh, nothing really that complicated. You're gonna uh, end up with this particular screen. You're gonna go ahead and go to settings and MIDI devices, and uh, try to refresh the MIDI device. Okay, uh, I didn't reconnect the Arduino, so let me go ahead and do that. So refresh MIDI, it will appear. In the list if you can find it uh, actually you have to go ahead and go to device manager first and check whether the device already appear or not then you're supposed to check it in this list but I skipped that particular step but right now it's already enabled uh, and whatsoever you can go ahead to the project screen and in this uh, particular uh, what in this track here you're gonna select input device and go down there to find MIDI and Arduino MIDI select it and then you uh, you gotta go to the right side of the whatever track uh, so you're gonna click this element I mean drag it and drop it here in the side of this track and then you can actually select some instruments something like a drum sample or what FM synth and maybe piano or something like that you're gonna have to download the plugin actually so I'm gonna go ahead and use synth and here to check whether it's working or not you're gonna touch the end of the receiving pin of the uh, I mean you have to touch the end of the transistor where it's connected to the receiver and then you can see that it actually responds with the sound if there's anything wrong it's gonna be one of the plugin because here when I touch it the input is receiving signals so that means something uh, something was pressed I mean one of the keys was pressed so I guess let me finish this up with all the sensors connected uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and create the circuit on my PCB Okay, so here's the result of the whole process. So here, let me play it. 
so yeah and like I said like we can actually change the instrument into different ones so let's use this track and in this track I applied a drum so yeah okay uh, before we end the video let's talk quite a bit so actually this video is supposed to be uploaded a lot sooner I found out my chemicals that I used to etch the circuit board has gone missing so I had to buy it again online and that took me like four days for those items to be arrived and since the package arrived in late evening I had to wait until the next day since the photo resist that I use as a stencil to etch the circuit board had to be exposed to sunlight I had to wait for the next day so that makes this video is one of the longest video I've tried to make so in the explanation there are probably details that I didn't mention so if you find my explanation to be horrible uh, mind joining my discord server and I'll explain everything in detail if you wanted me to so I guess that's the end of this video if you have any idea on what project i should do in the future leave a comment down below and i'll see you guys next time